All right, I figured out how you can print it full page, but you have to use Lumio to do it. So I can actually find Lumio in my Google Drive. So I'm going to show you here. If you go to New and then More, one of those options down here is Lumio with the little B icon. So I'm going to click on that, and it's going to bring up all of my Lumio files. Okay. So here are all of my Lumio files. You can upload any smart notebook file into Lumio. So I'm going to import and it's on my computer. And I'm going to find the one that you so sample for Sarah. So this is the smart notebook file. So that's the smart notebook file. And then I'm going to click it and then open. I could have double clicked it too. So now it's importing. And I want to select all of them and then I'm going to add it. Okay, so this is what it looks like in Lumio, but I want to get to the page where I can see all of my Lumio files. So I'm going to click finish editing and then here is um, the sample for Sarah. When I click on the little skinny snowman, those three dots right here, I get the option to export as a PDF. So when I do that, it takes a little bit right here while we're waiting for this to print, you can see there's a Lumio library here and it has resources for um, different grades. So you can look um, grade nine and math, and then you can search and it shows you um, the different math. I'm not quite sure how math that is, <laughs> how mathy that is. Um, it looks like you can even put in state standards, which I haven't really played around with that, but that's interesting. Let me see. Oh, okay. So it is done printing. So I'm going to just put Lumio at the back here, just so I know. Example two, because I did do this before I made this video. So now I've got it here, Lumio example, and this is what it looks like. Ta-da! So it is full page all the way to the sides. So that is pretty slick. So now I'm going to go over here to print, and I'll select my printer, whatever printer you have. If you have a color printer, I do not. This is a CTC office. Well, there's no color here anyway, is there? Um, oh, wait, there we go, color. So if you actually have a color printer, this is what it would look like. And in more settings, I would do print to fitable or fit to printable area. <laughs> um, and then it covers it nicely. The second page, it's got a little bit in on, at the top, but not as much as, as printing straight from the smart um, notebook. So so that that's how that's how I would suggest doing it got a couple more steps than normal, but um, that is how you can get rid of that, that added space at the top. All right. Have a great, Please excuse oh. have a great day. Bye.